feel very confident that he did make short flights from various interviews I have uh, uh, done. And in your opinion, Mr. College? The only area in which Mr. Lippincott and I really have even minor disagreements is the fact that I, I'm not at all sure in my own mind that there's evidence for the short hops. I think he and I agree that the hops, even if they, they did occur, as Harvey believes they did, can't be qualified as flights in any genuine, s in the sense that they were either sustained or honestly controlled in the air. And I think both of those are important criteria when you're talking about flight. Uh, I think that the Whitehead machine of the 1901-1902 uh, period had control up to a point. We're not sure exactly how much a lateral control he had. He may not have had lateral control actually built in the machine, but he had sufficient dihedral that he might have been actually, uh, uh, in still air, he might have been able to fly uh, laterally without disaster. If it were rough air, he might have lost control. We know he had elevated control. We know that the propellers, uh, uh, by speeding one up and slowing one down, would turn you, not quickly, but would turn. But I, I've not found anybody who really uh, gave any evidence that he made any major turns either in these flights. Well, of course, if we say that the flights, again, if they did exist, the hops were limited to 50 to 200 feet, that's scarcely room. So. That's not room to do too much. Yeah, it, uh, we do have, have material here, such as such as exists. And again, to say I think that there was no interest in Whitehead is unfair. Mr. Lippincott, do you believe he should have a place in the gallery of early flights in Smithsonian? Uh, I believe he has, uh, <coughs> should have mentioned. Uh, he certainly was a very dedicated, earnest, uh, pioneering e e experimenter in attempting to solve the problem of flight. Uh, the ultimate uh, evaluation of really how far he did accomplish may never be proved because we do not have original documents of Whitehead. Whether Whitehead made the documents or did not, uh, they apparently don't exist today. This is the unfortunate part. There's no picture of his airplane in flight. Uh, there's no written word of measurements or anything of uh, how much he flew. But I'm not convinced that he really had much in the way of documents because in my interview with Anton Kruckner, uh, we specifically asked him how far the aircraft flew on August the 14th. He says, well, well, we didn't know. We didn't measure it. We just guessed. So that uh, this is for another reason why I just can't quite accept uh, uh, figures of a mile or a mile and a half uh, if they had not measured him and, and his own associates said they did not measure. 